Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Jeff. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to be working on the Lamborghini today. Uh, going to be changing out the uh, hood badge. It has some wear on it and it's dented in from people pushing on it. So we're going to go ahead and change that out today. Uh, I've got a new one supplied by Fur Parts. Everybody want to thank Fur Parts for supplying this uh, badge for the Lamborghini. If you need any Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati parts, please contact them and they'll hook you up. So uh, that's where I've got this. Um, we'll be installing it. Like I said, uh, we'll have to do a few things here, open it up and then uh, it actually has a, uh, this latch is in the way. So we're gonna have to mark that and get that set up to remove to get access to the screw that holds the badge on. There's a little screw here. Um, it didn't, wasn't supplied with one, with one, so I'm hoping the other one is in good shape, but you can see the stud here. Um, so I'm hoping this nut on the current one is in good condition. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart. All right, so I took this Sharpie, and I should be able to wipe it off with alcohol. Uh, we'll find out, though. It should wipe off, though. Um, took the Sharpie, and I traced around the bolt holes or the bolts that attach this on here. So it um, kind of keeps where it's at. So I have an, um, hold on a second. All right, so I've uh, taken the Sharpie and uh, I've circled around the bolts to keep an alignment with the latch mechanism. So hopefully, in theory, if we put it back exactly like that, we shouldn't have an alignment issue with the hood latch that goes into there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this. They're 10 millimeters. And watch out, there may be some shims underneath there. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll find out. So we've got that latch removed. And uh, these bolts look like they're all the same length. So it shouldn't be an issue there, trying to figure that out. And um, as you can see here, the little nut that holds the hood emblem on is right here. I'll have to figure out what size that is. I should take that off. And uh, this may be a little difficult to get off because it is uh, attached with an adhesive tape. So uh, we'll see how difficult it is to pull that off. Might have to get a, a piece of uh, dental floss to remove that, but uh, we'll see when we get to that point. But first, I'm going to find out what size this nut is here and uh, remove it. So it looks like uh, that little nut's going to be a 5.5 millimeter. So um, we're going to go ahead and attach that to our ratchet there. And then uh, go ahead and remove it and uh, see how it goes. All right, so that didn't go too well. Um, well, I can still get this nut off there, but it looked like the threaded portion just sheared off the badge, the back of it. So I'm going to have to get that nut off there and then uh, hopefully just be able to push this badge off so uh we'll see how it goes okay so i tried to push it from the back and all i did was poke a hole in it so um i'm going to take my dental floss now and uh try to go along the back of it with the dental floss and uh, get it to come off that way all right so i'm going to put the dental floss in between my fingers here and I'm just gonna work it back and forth, okay? So we'll see if we get it to work. Get it behind there first. All right, so we got it behind there. Just kind of gently work it back and forth. I tried to do it while I go, but it broke. So we're gonna have to do it again. So just uh, bear with me, I'll get another piece. All right, let's wrap this one again. Uh, broke again. All right, let's try from this side here. All 
All right, so the dental floss didn't seem like it was working. It was, it was stuck on here too, too much. So uh, I went to some lacing cord. Uh, this is aircraft uh, grade lacing cord, and it seems to be cutting through it, but it's a little bit more harsh. So I taped around it to protect the finish of the paint. So you may want to do that. So you just do the same way, you just go back and forth. And then uh, it should just pop off of there once it cuts through the glue. It's getting pretty close. There it is. Well, that's part of it. Uh, I'll have to get underneath that. That's just the top part. So, uh, as you can see, these are not very well made. It's just a cheap piece of uh, formed aluminum, it looks like. Uh, the other piece is still stuck on there, so we're going to have to get that off yet. So I have to get the cord underneath here. All right, so I've got the lacing cord, or the dental floss back underneath here, because the lacing cord was seemed like it was too thick. And I was able to shave three quarters of the way here. So just like I said, continue to do it. Back and forth slightly, and uh, it should pop off here in a second. Oh, there it went. So now I've got this blue residue to clean up, and then I'll just take like a uh, plastic scraper or something, or some mineral spirits to kind of, or alcohol to clean this up lightly. Like I said, I put this tape down to help to protect the paint I may put a little bit more in these areas because I don't want to scratch the paint so I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape to that all right so I've got that off and I have this label and sticker remover so I'm gonna spray that on a rag and then uh, see what it does see if that will uh, take that residue off before I put any to anything harsh on there so really the best tool here is I put this uh, uh, label maker or not label maker label and sticker remover on this rag and I kind of rubbed it on the glue here and uh, as you can see it's been taking it off and then really I just take my fingernail at that point you know because I want to get too aggressive with it and scratch the paint so that seemed like that worked pretty good just my fingernail and that uh, label remover uh, like I said this stuff here it seemed like it worked pretty good and then as you can see the surface is pretty clean um, so I'll just kind of go over it here again make sure the residue and everything's off because if you don't get that pretty clean your uh, new one won't stick very well so uh, let's go ahead and then uh, I'll see what I can do with that nut on the stud see about getting this off here i'll probably just take a pair of vice grips in the socket and see if i can back that off and then uh, get the other one ready to install all right all right so um i got the nut off this stud and uh showing you here the old and the new as you can see like this one here was really worn and it was dented in i put the hole in there removing it so um we'll see if this uh nut goes on here fairly easy because uh, I don't want to twist that off and then uh, don't forget to remove your adhesive so I'm going to go ahead and, and then do like a running uh, not a running torque but just to run this down just to make sure I'm not having any issues with that because I like I said I don't want to uh, bust that stud off there but it looks like it's going on fairly easy uh, when you go to put this on just very easily snug it. Don't go crazy with it because uh, you'll snap that off. So it looks like it was running down pretty easy. Um, I don't know if that's got some thread locker on it or not. It looks like it has some dirty threads, so I might want to clean them up. It looks like the plastic piece down here is on the thread, so I want to uh, make sure that won't interfere. So I'm going to try to clean that up. So I was supposed to, I was able to uh, clean that plastic off the threads and uh, the nut threads all the way down with 
no problems. So now I guess I'm going to pull the adhesive off and then uh, secure the badge on the hood itself. So I'll try to do this one-handed and try not to touch the adhesive, adhesive portion. So uh, let's see how it goes here. down here hopefully that tape is not going to be in the way let me try to pull that tape off there before I get that tape on right there Sure, it's clean one more last time. No, stick the badge on there. Make sure it's lined up. Looks pretty good. Gonna push it on there. Like I said, I'm gonna push too tight. I'll dent it like the last one. But uh, kind of hit it in the corners here. Seems like it's on there nice. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put the nut on there. All right, and like I said, don't torque it too much or you'll just shear it right off also. All right, so I've got the nut. Matter of fact, I just hand tighten it. Uh, I didn't go more than that because like I said, it's not gonna take much and it'll shear that piece off. So, um, Looks like it's all nice lined up, sitting down fairly nice. Um, and then now I'll just go ahead and uh, reinstall the latch assembly. All right, I've got our 10 millimeter bolts in there. They're snugged up. I didn't go too crazy with those either. Um, let's go back down to here. That looks good. Um, other than that, we'll see how the hood closes here. Make sure it closes nicely. That looked good. So we know that lines up. And then I'll just release it and uh, see how she releases. And then that really concludes this video of the replacement of the Lamborghini hood badge. All right, so I'll go ahead and release the hood. Operates normal. So that looked like that worked out just fine. Stick my hand right here, make sure this release is good. And there we are. That should be it then. And then uh, all I have to do yet is uh, wipe out that marker. And then once the marker is wiped off, we're done. So uh, anyway, uh, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have some other projects here in the next couple weeks. I'm trying to work out a uh, 355 belt change and maybe a 360 uh, F1 clutch conversion to a manual. So we'll see what happens there with those. I'm in contact with the uh, owner right now, so hopefully that will happen in the next few weeks. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time.